J.J. touched on that with Eddie Gill in our second segment. Tipped up, no good. It's run down by McConnell. Duarte, 4-3. Big shot for Chris. McConnell gets around Roddy in the traffic. Roddy saves it, and it's picked back up by McConnell. Duarte good goes move. inside. He was able to go right at Duarte again. He's got, he's got a ticket. Ooh. Ooh. That was a game after he had had a career-high 30-point game in Brooklyn. Just coming off a three-game homestand where they beat Utah and San Antonio twice. Andrew Nemhard back in to start the quarter as Duarte hits another three. And you want to give the hot hand the ball. Ten first half points for Chris Duarte, his fourth double figure game of the year. Jones missing, and it's tapped to Duarte. Out on the perimeter. He's still, he's got that mismatch, missed it. They look to Duarte again. He's going to drive it and scoops it out to Nemhard. His three is perfect. Just underway, second quarter. Come looking. There you go. And Jackson with a terrific catch at 38 inside the first two minutes of this second quarter. Nice little tap there by Duarte to get it out. For he was in double figures last year 40 times in the 55 games he played. He suffered that toe injury late that kept him on the bench. Tyrese Halliburton missing his second straight game with the left elbow sprain and the left knee contusion. It's good that he, he's, you know, at some point here in the relative short time. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> you get open shots, you got to take them, because you know, you're not going to get to the paint. Here's Duarte, uses a left hand. Yeah. Left he got yeah. away. He, yeah. you know, he got away. It, you know, it's one of those deals. You take them when you get them. Duarte goes inside, left it short. Adams was there. He was out with an injury. In fact, he did not play in the two Grizzlies wins, and they won by 30 points or more in both as Duarte hits. Just not a scoring pass, so everybody's got to be alert on the pace. He's running out. Smith with the rebound. Um, yeah, that would that would make a lot of sense because you don't want to run the big people are, you know, they're, they're, their bodies are sensitive. Not yeah, he was a first-round pick back in 2019. He's been a double-figure scorer off the bench each and every year. Three-point shot, Duarte, well short. And rebound, Terry Taylor for his first point. You, you, you've got to put your... Chris, the Pacers haven't been able to get any easy shots. That's one of the things Salopo's great for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Swatted out of there by the Arabia. They, run it, they ran him off the line. There's the defense you were talking about. They were not going to let Duarte shoot that. The two teams atop the Western Conference. You saw in our earlier talk that Boston has the best record in the NBA as Chris Duarte hits the three. Yeah, that's, that's the play they ran earlier. He scored double figures three times this year. Duarte, this is his fourth. And good to see the second-year player out of Oregon. His, his, all of his rhythm is smoother. I, I think that's the thing that you want to see is is find some rhythm for him. It really has been tough coming back from that injury. But it, it, what, what it looks like, Chris, is that he, even if you look at his free throws. Duarte, McConnell, Taylor, Queen, and Johnson. The five coming back. Yeah, that, you can see the rhythm there. I mean, you can see it in his free throw. Well, that's a tough shot. Shot there you go. Duarte for his fifth three. Queen with the offensive rebound. Shot there you go. Duarte for his fifth three. Queen with the offensive rebound. Get it back. Goes inside, lays it in. What you're doing now is you're analyzing guys to see will they compete regardless of the score. So Trevlin Queen, who had scored earlier on that West Coast road trip. Just got the, he got the steal there. With a left hand banking in Duarte. 